Hi, hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will mainly talk about the various modulation schemes used in 3GPP spec. Especially for these modulation schemes, I want to talk about the differences between them. Okay. So, in 3GPP spec 38.2.1 corresponding to 5G in version 16.2, the equations for pi by 2 BPSK, BPSK, and QPSK are given. Okay. So these are the equations used. If you see between pi by 2 BPSK and BPSK, uh, an extra uh, exponential factor is used uh, to uh, do the phase shift by pi by 2. Okay. So first thing is, let us see how the how does the constellation look like after performing this operation. So for B, pi by 2 BPSK, uh, you know, for even number of samples, the constellation points would lie at these locations for odd number of points it will lie at this location so you know overall if you combine both odd and even samples the constellation points would present or would look like this for bpsk as per this it would look like this okay so what about for qpsk so the qpsk i will write uh, uh, here for qpsk it would it will also look like this then you might say that what is the difference between um, <clears throat> this constellation and uh, uh, the one which is shown in pi 2 bps even though the constellation looks like this it still take uh, one bit as an input okay so pi 2 bpsk also takes one bit as an input and whereas uh, qpsk takes uh, uh, two bits uh, as an input so those things are all mentioned over here okay now we, we should be seeing the difference between pi 2 BPSK and QPSK in some in terms of symbol transitions. So if you carefully observe the pi 2 BPSK, uh, if the first symbol, uh, let's say, present here, and as I mentioned, the odd symbol locations, uh, next symbol would be the odd symbol, though that uh, would present either this point or this point. So the symbol transition will happen from year to year and year to year. So there won't be any symbol transition from year to year okay so similarly if you finally see the symbol transitions will happen only in these directions and uh, there is no symbol transitions via origin whereas in case of qpsk the symbol transitions will happen in these directions and it will also cross the origin and you know in all these directions there will be symbol transitions so that is the difference between uh, the qpsk and the pi 2 bpsk so especially in qpsk the symbol transition happens via origin what about in bpsk in bpsk symbol transition will happen via origin and this is the only uh, transition let me talk about one more difference that is pi by 2 bpsk so this is mainly giving an advantage uh, with respect to designing uh, relaxed power amplifier but these two will not give much benefit okay and since this is giving uh, an advantage over relaxed power amplifier which means this is actually mm, reducing the PAPR there is a one more uh, a video previous to this has been created so you can watch that uh, to see you know how the pi 2 bpsk reduces the PAPR. Uh, PAPR um, effects uh, or problems are mainly in the up uplink direction uh, so this pi 2 bpsk modulation scheme is basically used in uplink whereas bpsk and qpsk used in both uplink as well as downlink okay so there are many other modulation schemes like 16 com 64 com 256 com these are the equations specified i will not go through the details uh, here these modulation schemes are used both in uplink and downlink so in even uplink 256 com is also used all right so I think the things are clear. Thank you very much. Have a great day.